So here we have the baguette completely hollowed out. And it has 45 sections just waiting for guns to be put in it. And I've done a couple things in the past where I replaced these guns with nothing but flamethrowers, or replaced them with rail guns. I'm going to do something different here. And I'm going to put a different gun in every one of these sections to make this be one ship that has every single gun you can imagine in From the Depths. So this is going to be the first one. Right back here, we're going to have a nuke generator. I already have it set up and configured, so it should spawn. Uh, let me just test this, because I've never actually done one of these, like, nuke summoner type ships. Well, I have it using the uh, Grey Talon ICBM, because that, well, just works. Oh, oh. Perfect. Okay, so that's the first one done already. But granted, that's, you know, the easiest since I'm just using a built-in ship design. All right, for the next one, we're going to do a really high-powered, just pure high-explosive cram. All right, let's, let's make it look unique, but not hideous. Which, uh, it's kind of only got one of those right now. Alright, we'll call that one good. Move on to the next one. We gotta move quickly here. So right here, we're gonna do a bunch of high-explosive medium cluster missiles. Alright, so magnetic cluster bombs. Let's see how well this works. I'm not gonna lie, I do not use cluster bombs often. They're really just not that practical. Alright, let's see how this works. Alright. Oh, it got nuked. My bad. Okay, it works. Perfect. If we have things consistently uh, off-center and asymmetrical, it'll look good over the course of the entire ship, yeah? Alright, we're just gonna do this goofy little, like, nubby cram cannon. But, but this little cram cannon has every single uh, cram type except EMP because that doesn't stack as well with the other ones. That's just a completely separate type. It has all four of the physical damage types. Of course, as always, we'll need an APS sandblaster, which means really high rate of fire, low gauge, but actually, I'll just use the original baguette's one. All right, so this is just what the original baguette had, so perfect. All right, it's just a simple... Tiny little PAC. Perfectly, perfectly nestled under the cannon of the last one. Alright, so we're gonna have this one be a couple of little wave lasers. And we're gonna need a little engine to power this thing. Actually, never mind, this is... A small enough amount of engine that the, the main engine will power it plenty well. Alright, here's our goofy little laser turret. Huh. Doesn't look good. Alright, this is much better. So this is going to be a high explosive anti-aircraft cram cannon. Meaning it's low caliber high fire rate. Well, low caliber for a cram cannon because like... Ram cannons just work on an entirely different scale as every other gun. Strange looking little gun, but I like it. Goofy looking gun, but this is going to be a pure incendiary cram cannon. Let's also do a flamethrower that's just pure 
no oxidizer, just a lot of fuel. Use some of these simple casemates here. Now for this one, we're actually going to do it upside down because this one will be torpedoes. All right, so these are going to be cluster. Oops, I put... God dang it. I built the, the thing on the mini ones instead of the big ones. So these are going to be cluster torpedoes that just you that just throw out a bunch of EMP grenades. Uh EMP mines rather. They will be uh self-propelled but not guided mines. So it'll release them earlier and it'll go forward very quickly expend its fuel and then just use a magnet to close the distance. This is about when it should release. Yep. And they zip forward. And then we'll just latch on with the mag. Perfect. We already have so many different guns. And with all this, we still haven't put in a single plasma cannon. Ah, uh, can you not attach a winch to a, a rail launcher? That's a shame. All right, nice. So now we've got a big ass harpoon. What next? This is going to be one of our strongest guns on here. This is going to be a burst rail gun that uses sabos. And this is going to be a big one too. So this will be a short range PAC with impact and we'll have it only do a kilometer away. So this will be a penetrating frag shell. So this is meant to punch through, go under the armor, and then explode on the inside with a massive frag cone. And then we're going to have one more PAC. This is going to be a long range piercing PAC. This is going to be our EMP one. So it's going to be naturally EMP colored. We all know it. I guess I'll finish filling out the front. What can we slot in here, though? I guess here would be a perfect time for one, uh, one of the plasma cannons. So of everything, plasmas are still the one that I'm the least knowledgeable about. Oh my god, even with the autoloaders, it's 1.3 seconds between each one. This isn't going to last the duration of the fight. This is just going to be as fast as we can with the cooldown. Now for this one, let's make use of the height of this ship actually being fairly tall. And have some just crazy big cruise missiles here. Remember, longer is usually better for missiles. We'll, we'll use laser guidance for these ones too, because we really want these to hit. No, no chance of being distracted or uh, jammed. These should just be some proper... Why aren't these... I did not attach these to the controller. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Nothing fancy. There's a lot of fancy weapons here. Just big cruise missiles. All right, what's next? I was just going on about how normal that one was. And now I'm making this big ass like drill on an arm. It's fine. Perhaps I'll make some close in weapon systems. Close in weapon system or close in weapon system? I actually have no idea. Oh, the built-in Janus system fits perfectly. Huh, I guess I'll use this. I don't think I've ever used the built-in before. Finally, it is done with this last little Graviton Ram railgun. It is done. And it is surprisingly cheap, actually. So let's test it against something about as expensive as it.
This is more expensive. This right here, the briar, is significantly more expensive than. Oh my god, look at it. Oh. One of my flamers is not correctly configured. We fix that real quick. Oh my god. It is beautiful. There's something poetic about it. About every single weapon system in the game firing in perfect harmony. Its active weapon defense systems don't seem to be able to keep up very well. Oh. It's not actually that scary. None of these are particularly strong. There's just so much of it. It can't do anything about it. Any gap in its defenses will be exploited. Let's, let's try to see this in maximum quality. I don't know if my computer will be able to handle it, but... I'll try. The everything beget. Oh, but look at it. Oh, but isn't it beautiful? Um, it's able to keep up surprisingly well. I think once the uh, flamers start firing, it'll run out of fuel very quickly because I didn't give it any additional fuel. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. And then second is battery because of all the PACs and rail guns. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't think it actually needs much more. It is quite scary, actually. Uh, not incredibly effective. Not as incredibly effective as I would have hoped. I guess, you know, probably wiser to specialize into one thing than just literally every gun you can imagine. Like, I was like, like racking my brain. I was having to like hunch over and rack my 10,000 hours of knowledge to come up with another weapon system to use, which, you know, I'll take that feat in and of itself. And I think it wins this fight. I think it'll win a lot of fights, actually, uh, considering its price point of a million. I think it's really strong for its price. I mean, the baguette's always been good just because redundancy is like the best thing to have in From the Depths. And so baguette has nothing but, and so it dies very gracefully. But yeah, if you like the video or have any suggestions for like, uh, some popular player or creator made, uh, uh, ships that this might be able to go up against. Remember, its price point is a million. Uh, yeah. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments or go to my Discord. I'll be much more likely to respond to them there. And, uh, like the video if you like it. And have a nice day. Thanks for watching.